Hi, this is Nellie's Farm. It is Wednesday, March 15th, the Ides of March. It is a wet, soggy day, so I'm inside and looking out the window. That's my one of my bird feeders I watch out my bedroom window, but the birds were here, but they kind of took off now, so I think they ran on a seed. I can hardly keep them all fed. So anyway, I have a few news items to share with you. Um, the big one today is Russian amphibious fleet is now uh, making their way to Odessa. And they also have airborne landings going on right now. Uh, there's also reports in the local area of uh, naval, uh, naval gunfire coming from Odessa. So that's happening. And uh, China is entering the mix now. They've uh, offered to give Russia military equipment. And I don't know about the troops, but I think it's just a matter of time. You can see that they are uniting Iran, North Korea, China, Russia. Uh, every All nations are taking their sides. Um, the only kind of, you know, one that's not so clear right now is Turkey. They're, they're the wild card. They're kind of playing both sides, I believe. But anyway... Um, the uh, uh, Saudi Arabia considers accepting the one, the Chinese one, instead of U.S. dollars for Chinese oil sales. So uh, that explains why they said that Saudi Arabia refused a uh, phone call from Biden lately. And uh, things are moving away from the U.S. dollar. The petrodollar is collapsing, and it's just a very short matter of time now that we have. So... I would use whatever dollars that you have to buy things because the things are going to be worth money, but not the actual dollar bills. I don't think the coins are going to be worth either because they're much either because they're not made with real silver anymore like they used to be. So I would put that money, invest that money into, you know, canned food and other things, you know, that you that never go out of style you could trade or barter with thank you for listening to nilly's farm have a great day